this week it started to finally feel a little bit more like fall here in New York City so I decided to do this 7 day 7 outfits video to show you guys what I usually wear throughout an early fall week here in New York. So I'm gonna start with one of my favorite outfits this week and this was an outfit that I wore on a Monday that I had to go early morning into the office and it was quite cold outside so I thought to myself why not make this the first outfit of this year, well of this season that I'm gonna style Ugg boots because it's so on trend right now and it's actually one of my favorite trends just because it allies comfort and practicality in a way that none of my other pairs of shoes do. The tailored pants are from Zara and this cute sweater with the sleeve detail is from Iro Paris and the bag is from Pauline. I also added some jewelry to give it a little bit of an edge. Fancy skirts are my favorite trend this fall season and I had this one from DKNY from previous seasons. It is a little bit loose on me because I bought it the wrong size but it still does the job. I paired it with this cute Cezanne sweater. It is so feminine and fuzzy. And then I paired it with these combat boots from Shoots. I love the patent leather and I think it goes together with the rest of the outfit and adds a lot of balance to the look. As for bags, I was struggling between the one from Cafune and the one from Little Lifner, which is like a bigger size and a little bit more edgy. So I decided to go to the, with the Little Lifner one because I needed more space on Tuesday. And this was the final look. Another trend I really love are the flare leggings. These are from Zara from a few seasons ago, but I still wear them every single fall winter season that comes because they fit so well. So on Wednesday, I decided to pair it with this striped button up shirt by Dish. I really love this shirt and I wear this like summer, fall, winter, spring, no matter the season, this shirt is like the perfect go to look. And I paired it also with a blazer and my maxi bag from Little Lifner. The blazer is from uh, Margella, but it's a vintage one I thrifted in Canada. I also think that these colored lens sunglasses from Vela really add a fun, edgy touch to the whole look, so it's not so serious even though you're wearing a button-up shirt and a blazer. And these sock boots are from Zara. I love to wear pointy sock boots with my leggings. I had to look a little bit more professional last Thursday, so I went with the classic tailor pants and white shirt look. This white shirt was thrifted in Brazil. It's made of silk, which adds a little bit more of elegance and sophistication. The wide leg pants are from Abercrombie, and I really love when the wide leg falls on top of the loafers. I think it adds a fun, unexpected touch. Um, these loafers are from Charles and Keith. It's one of my favorite um, affordable shoe brands. And the bag is once again from Pauline. I really love the contrast with the caramel bag and the black and white of the whole look. I think it just adds a fun touch of color um, without being too colorful, if you know what I mean. And I also added this blazer from Fourth and Reckless and I really love the fit. And I also think that this statement golden jewelry plus the gold hardware of the loafers just added value in general to the look. I also wanted to add a fun touch with the sunglasses and I love this pair from Lou Goldie. I feel like the lenses and the tortoise shell frame is just really fun and elegant at the same time and I really love the shape of the sunglasses. I always like to do something a little bit more different for Friday so I'm wearing these Abercrombie faux leather pants. I love the fact that they're Bordeaux and not black because I feel like I'm always seeing a lot of black leather pants around. And I also love that it adds a very discreet pop of collar to my outfit. I'm all about being discreet with my collar inclusions in my outfits. I love to match Bordeaux with yellow accessories because I think it's just two collars that complement each other so seamlessly and so nicely. I'm wearing the loafers in a neutral collar, once again the ones from Charles and Keith. Love the way the leather pants fall on top of them, it creates an unexpected shape. And also adding once again my gold jewelry and then I was ready for my Friday. Saturdays are my favorite days to go a little bit over the top, so I'm wearing this little black dress. I love the length of the dress, I think it's so chic and elegant and the cutouts are really not that excessive, which I love. And I'm also a Scorpio, so you catch me wearing black a lot of times. I'm also loving to contrast and balance the femininity and sensuality of this dress with the roughness of the combat boots. 
and I love it that the patent leather of the boots kind of break any excessive roughness of the piece. I also added this trench coat by the Frankie shop. It's my favorite trench coat for fall. I think it's such a statement piece and its collar kind of brings everything together in the look. I love this cafonet bag also. It's a geometric shape, so super chic, super elegant and just added a little bit more class to this whole outfit which I really love and I feel like this whole outfit is very unexpected because while you're walking down the street with a closed trench coat once you get to your place and open it it just reveals a whole different vibe underneath it and I loved it last Sunday I had a lunchtime event that required me to dress a little bit more elegantly but since it was a daytime event I still opted for lighter colors. I love a good pair of white trousers. I think they're so chic and elegant and when you wear them, when you wear white overall throughout fall and winter months, I feel like you really stand out. And I chose to match my white pants with this really cute sweater from Cezanne. I love the collar. I think it just screams daytime and blue is my favorite color, so I love it. And I also wore these mules from Charles and Keith. Also love their attention to detail and loved the pointy toe and to break a little bit the whole elegance and stiffness of the look I opted for this maxi bag by Little Lifner, which really brought everything together in my opinion and made it for a really nice casual but still chic daytime event I really hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching until the end and I'll see you guys on the next one bye